from a secret location in Hollywood, it's the, 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 the Tom Likas Show. You know, I'm really starting to get annoyed with your program. And now, and now here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of radio talk book. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing whacker or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1-800-5800-TALK. 1-800-5800-866. Thank you for tuning in. Love this story. This is going to be a very important hour because it's rare, rare. If you're a regular listener, you know this is rare. It is rare that I state something uh, as one of our rules or recommendations and then later say, you know what? New information is in. New findings. Changing my opinion. By the way, uh, there's nothing hypocritical or inconsistent about this. Every opinion is based on the information you have at the time you express the opinion. When new information comes in, you would be a fool not to look at it and then respond appropriately. And that is what I'm about to do. I'm about to tell you that something I've recommended you not do is probably something worth doing. And I'm going to be very specific about when it's worth doing and when it's not. But this is pretty shocking information. And for any regular listener to the Tom Likas show, uh, this is something you need to know about. And you need to respond accordingly. And then we will get to your opinions about it coming up. Here is the story. It is based on another story that appeared in a magazine called Women's Health. Oh, yeah, that's on my coffee table at home. Of course it is. Women's Health. Yes. And then it appears on a website where it's been quoted many times today called switched.com. Here is the story. It's confirmed. Online dating is the way to go if you're looking to get lucky. I'm just reading the story and then I'll tell you my opinion about the story. According to a recent survey published by the Sexuality Research and Social Policy Research Journal. One-third of women, one-third of women who meet people online have sex on the first date. And a whopping three-quarters of those surveyed do not use a condom. Says here, meanwhile, a mere 27% engage in oral sex on the first date. First date. Says here, the high likelihood of sex on the first date is partially attributable to an increased comfort level. According to the survey, having extended or multiple conversations with a person online can decrease the tension and general awkwardness that accompanies a first date. 
the sense of familiarity. Listen to this. The sense of familiarity not only increases the chances for intercourse, but it also will make a person more likely to cast off better judgment and go without condoms and, of course, with alcohol. Wow! That is explosive. One-third of the women who meet people online have sex on the first date. Can you believe that? It's pretty outrageous. I'm looking at one of these... uh, one of these personal sites, and you will notice that none of them ever say anything about having sex in their descriptions. Women have, uh, I'm just going to read without telling you the names of any of these people, I'm going to read to you from some profiles on one of these personal ad sites. Here's one. Hi, guys. Just trying to make friends, and whatever happens, happens. So I'm not going to write down a history on this amount of space given us to tell our life story. I'm just putting down some tidbits of info. So here it goes. The feature that captures my attention is a witty personality with a great smile. In our free time, my ideal match and I would get to know more of each other by taking nice romantic walks anywhere with beautiful scenery. The thing that I appreciate most in a partner is his ability to make me laugh and forget about what has me feeling down. My greatest guilty pleasure is fun, sexy, wild, and then question marks, it says here. Then it says you will need to find out. <laughs> well... Sounds to me like a third of you might be putting out on the first date. (laughs) Then we'll find out. My main goals in life are a pleasurable, fun, and secure relationship. Enough money in my life to be comfortable, yet spend and have fun when I want to. And last but not least, great health. (laughs) Last but not least. All right. Here's another one. Just picking these out at random, by the way. I have been described as sophisticated, fun-loving, intelligent, and a compassionate woman who is sensitive, spiritual, and gracious. I am down-to-earth, genuinely kind, and care about others. I give a lot of myself and my time to helping others. Family, friendships, and commitments are valuable and dear to my heart. I have a wild sense of humor and love to laugh, giggle, and smile. My outlook on life in general is optimistic and positive. Being a progressive thinker and non-judgmental are also qualities I respect and possess. I am college-educated and work in a professional capacity with a very demanding career. Consequences are that at times I am driven, generally goal-project-oriented, and always self-motivated. Extensive travel of the seven continents has been a passion of mine. However, I mean, of course, if you're paying, that would be great. I added that in. However, the most memorable things for me are sometimes the most simple things that life offers. I also enjoy the arts, culture, history, learning, gardening, cycling, walking, jogging, swimming, and other numerous activities and interests. I'm actually a pretty decent sailor, too. Yo, ho, ho. I am unmarried and have no children. What I am looking for is a thoughtful and gentle soul with qualities similar to my own. You are genuinely kind, polite, honest, open to culture, reasonably intelligent with a sense of humor. For the most part, I am pretty flexible, but please be secure and not intimidated by a competent woman. You must also be a non-smoker and seek a meaningful relationship and living a healthy and uncomplicated life. Another profile. On one of these personal ad pages. Uh, And finally, I just read a third one. Again, I'm just picking these out at random. Here's one. 
My favorite place in the world is the beach. No matter what time of the year, if you are with the right person. <laughs> the beach is enjoyable any day of the year. I am very social, don't like to sit still. However, looking for the right person who will be able to slow me down and catch my attention. Also, very outgoing in the right crowd. If not, I can be very shy, but easy to get to know. Now, those are just three examples. But you'll notice in there, there's no direct references to sex. And yet, according to this survey, According to the survey, a third of the women who meet people online have sex on the first date. Three-quarters of them don't use a condom. I mean, more women have actual intercourse on the first date than oral sex, according to this survey. Wow. Wow. So in the past, I have... uh, I have uh, ripped online dating because I do believe it has its share of lunatics and um, it's certainly not a good place to meet somebody and get married or have a serious relationship. And I've just pretty much trashed it overall. But if one third of the women put out on a first date, one third, there's obviously a lot of pent up sexual frustration among women. Because if you read the profiles online, you don't see a lot of women saying, I am just horny and ready to go. You don't see that. So these stories they write on there, the the tales they weave about wanting to walk hand in hand on the beach with the love of their lives, their soulmates, uh, the ideal guy who will always be thoughtful, blah, blah, blah. Imagine one-third of the women who write those flowery descriptions are really just looking to have you pound the hell out of them. You just bang the crap out of them. Isn't that amazing? Now, I still would not look for a wife or a serious relationship on a website. I wouldn't do it. Because I still think that the people who have to advertise to meet somebody have some kind of issue. Could be anything. Sexual hang-ups. Uh, could be that they uh, are antisocial, don't know how to talk to people, Whatever. Could be some other deep-seated issues. But apparently one thing they like to do is to F. And so if all you're looking for, and and by the way, my apologies to the many callers who've called over the years and have told me this. They have said that online dating is a great way to get laid. And you don't have to go to one of the overt sites like uh, adultfriendfinder.com, one of these websites that just you know, advertises that they're out there for the freaks and the uh, the swingers and what have you. Uh, th- th- you don't have to go to places like that. You can go to the simplest online dating sites, and you know, the, you know the names of all of them. You can go there, and odds are much better that you'll get laid with people on there than people you meet in everyday life. So if you find anybody who looks physically attractive online, I would have to say, go over and pound the crap out of them. Have sex with them as many times as you can. Just don't get married to them. Don't move in with them. Don't have babies with them. And because they put out so readily, and apparently the online dating world is full of real sluts, you got to use a condom. you got to. Even though three-quarters of those surveys say they don't use a condom, you got to use one. So I am changing my recommendation on online dating. Use it to get laid. To get laid. Make a date, blah, blah, blah. Chat them up a bit online before you actually go over there. Start creeping into the areas you like to creep into. Make sure they're not turned off or freaked out by conversations of sexuality. And once you uh, have an idea that they're comfortable to talking about sex or talking dirty or using uh, obscene or vulgar language with you, go over there, meet them, and take what's yours. One-third of women who meet people online have sex on the first date, according to the Sexuality Research and Social Policy Journal. That sounds to me like very fertile ground indeed. Do you agree? 
Tom Likas. Come on. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, can I say one thing? What would that be? I'm kind of buzzed, but I'm loving you. Really? Oh, my God. The Tom Likas Show. Um, I've been giving you recommendations on various tips to uh, get laid. And uh, one of them I, I recommended against was online dating. But the evidence is becoming clear. And now we have statistical evidence. One third of females who date online put out on the first date. One third. That's compelling. So I have changed my recommendation to you. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what's up, man? Doing okay, Chris. Long time, second time. Thank you. I wanted to uh, comment maybe some of the pros and the cons. Uh, myself have been very very successful with, uh, I mean, the, the online dating. I mean, basically I'm part of a, a site that a lot of us are part of. It's free. It's not technically a dating site, but... That's what we do, and um, my number has been pretty successful. Probably 90% of the women I have met online, I, I've nailed. I, I mean, I wear protection because I, I value my safety, but I, I, my ratio has been pretty good. I think it's a very successful way. Um, the other problem is that at 50% of these women have continued to be been lunatics. I mean, hard to shake. I mean, I, I want to get in, get off, get out, and I can't seem to do that with a lot of them. Some of the better things are is that taking, hanging out with some of these girls, you get to know their friends. They want to become friends with you on these websites, and then it's it's you know it's open season for you. So uh, pretty I, I outrageous. It's it's fun, man. It's it's the way to go. You know, you just have to take the good with the bad and get ready for a couple of a uh, couple of lashers. Right. Well, you certainly have the option of uh, heading for the hills if somebody really hideous is there. Uh, but, you know, I bought in all the hype that, you know, when you call something Match.com or eHarmony.com, I bought into the idea that these are people looking for relationships or marriage or romance. Yeah, I'm not but, a part but of it. You, you have know, to look right? at them. You have to look at them like bars where the sluts hang out. <laughs> kind of. I mean, the best part is you could do the Tom Likas way. You don't spend a dime. Hey, why don't you come over to my house? We'll hang out, watch a movie. And now it's all starting it's all starting to make sense because as I always say women love plausible deniability. Here's a perfect example. They they have pictures of puppies and sunsets and they talk about wanting to walk hand in hand with the love of their lives. But the reality is they're horny. That's why they're going to the extent of paying money. My god, right. women are the cheapest creatures on earth. They're paying money to buy an ad. And they're not advertising to meet somebody to walk hand in hand with into the sunset. They're advertising because they need to get laid now. Right, and what they're advertising is, is their representative, who they want you to think they really are. And but we don't not. care who they really are. Just just <laughs> put your left leg at the 10 and your right leg at the 2. That's right. Handle it. That's Tom, right. Thank you, man. I love your show. Thank you for helping me get through traffic. I support online dating. If it's going to get you laid, go for it, guys. Absolutely. Or place an ad, for that matter. Do it. Yeah. Take me out old school, Tom. Here you go, Chris. That's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Daniel on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? Not much, Daniel. I would have to say that 30% is a pretty good number. Um, but I would uh, take a different approach. Um, when I talk to these girls online, I uh, end up slipping in there nonchalantly just uh out of nowhere i don't know bring up maybe uh a shower or something and just start the dirty talk from the get-go so when they were coming over we were banging there was no doubt about that so um wow. 
you know, you can avoid even the 30%. I'd have to say the other guy with the 90%, he's probably doing the same thing I was doing. And, you know, talk dirty from the get-go, and you're in there. I actually had a girl drive all the way from Whittier just to come over so I could ban the crap out of her. I love that. Yeah, so this, this, those girls that are on there, they are definitely horny. So, you know, wrap it up and uh, go in, guns blazing. Sounds good to me. Think that old school, Tom? Of course I can. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to Jason on the Tom Likas show. Tom. Yes. So nice to speak to you, sir. Are I'm you, uh, sure you keep, it is. You you keep me sane working in an office full of women. Let me tell you that. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Listen, uh, the online dating thing. Uh, for some time, at least for a lot of people, I've found that uh, when you can't get out too much or you're too busy, the online dating really does work. The only problem is, at least where I'm at in Portland, about 75% of them, at least, are the, are the fat and fuglies. So you really, it's such a numbers game, you really have to throw your name out. I, I go on Craigslist or, you know, some of those here and there. And I really have to throw the name out a lot. A lot of them are, are so snotty, even the fat and fugly ones. If you don't send them a picture back, you don't look like, you know, Brad Pitt or George Clooney or something along those lines. Even the fat and fugly ones won't answer you. So I got to throw. You got to throw the the name out. Get some some stuff out, like you say, treat them like crap, and they're more likely to respond to that. And then if you throw your name out enough, yeah, the ones I've gotten here and there. You, you can bang them usually. I mean, I know the last couple I've met, uh, yeah, I bang them on the first or, I think, God, the first or the second date. So if you if you keep your name out there, yeah, they, definitely things will happen on online dating. Sounds good to me. I just, uh, I had no idea that these women were really looking for quiet walks in the sunset. Yeah, it is it is just like you say, though, Tom. You, you're exactly right when you say you got to look for the best-looking ones. Because they're the ones that are, uh, you know, with the low self-esteem. If you get your name out there and start start playing around with what you do for a living, you know, maybe up the salary level a little bit or, you know, something along those lines, they'll bite. I mean, they'll go right for it. If you, but again, you, it's such a numbers game. You yeah, throw your name but, but when you get on, when you if you place your own profile on there, you can lie about your salary. You can lie about what you do for a living. It's all right there. Yeah, geez, they, and the funny thing is they do, too. They send out those pictures where they're, you know, when they were getting out of high school or something, and it makes it real easy because once you do see them, you know, they'll maybe get a webcam or something going. Then you can tell if, you know, they've been eating, out, you know, they've been eating pound cake or something for the last 20 years or yeah. whatever the problem is. So. Right. Hey, Tom, listen, appreciate all you do. You are my hero. I uh, Like I said, you keep me sane every day working around with a lot of the crazy women that I do. So uh, could you blow me up? Of course I can. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. Frank is calling from Portland, Oregon, home of the other white meat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. We are representing here from Portland, aren't we? Thank <laughs> you Tom. for that. Hey, you know, I'll tell you, my bullpen has a, has a real active rotation using the online. I tell you right now. It is definitely a high percentage. I'm amazed. Definitely, definitely a high percentage. And, and again, uh, the, the guy, the previous caller was talking about the uh, fat and feglies. You just weed them right out at the beginning and spend your time with some that really, I mean, the, the really nice looking ones. And uh, I tell you, it has been very, very lucrative. I'm glad you finally came around, Tom, because uh, I, I, all the time I heard you talking about you know, no, no, no. I'm like, Tom, that's what it's out, man. <laughs> so it's really cool. It's worked out really good, I tell you. Take me out, Toby, love... Tom. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. What's happening? Not much. Hey, just wanted to help school the boys out there on uh, they don't need Match.com or any of, those other, any of that other crap. When I was uh, 
banging around before I got married. Uh, I was hitting the field at least 50 percent, and uh, it's all about uh, how you set up your profiles. Uh, I had things like uh, attorney for law firm of Dewey, Cheatham, and Howe. I used an old Three Stooges line to get some of these gold diggers after me. <laughs> they don't. They don't understand that. They don't see what's going on. So, uh, hey, all, it's all fair game. So, uh, and I was careful. I was a master at reading through their profiles and knowing what I was looking for. You know, and obviously, it. no single moms, no references to kids and all that. I knew what I was going after, and it was just a matter of uh, making it happen. Wow. And the other thing, I'll tell you, the other thing that the biggest, uh, one of the biggest misconceptions that guys have is I was, I was getting more ass in a toilet seat, and not once did I ever bring up sex to them. I was just charming and funny, and girls are, women are. You come over there expecting a date. Oh, no, no, no. They knew eventually, it, the, they, I just let them take the conversation where I wanted to go. So by the time it came for them, for me to roll there, they knew what was happening, and it was just a done deal. Wow. Sounds good. Hey, so I just wanted to school the boys and let them in on uh, uh, some words of wisdom. I'm loving it. Thank you so much for the call. Tom Likas, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom Likas. I had a girl ask me the, the typical, what am I to do? And I go, what are my options? And she says, well, you can be my fiancé, uh, my girlfriend, my ass buddy. And I go, I think you're my ass buddy, so get the ass out. The Tom Likas Show. just did something really significant here. Online dating. I had recommended against it because it's chicks who are looking for, like, relationships. And our guys just want to get laid. Guess what? One third of the women who date online put out on the first date. So, guys, I'd sign up today. <laughs> get right in there. This is Elise on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Hi, Tom. I'm just calling because I disagree with you because I'm an online dater. And I think you're totally wrong about that, about the girls that put out on the first date. Well, darling, it's not me. It's a survey. Well, I think the survey is wrong. How do you know how many women have you dated online? Um, I'm a woman. I don't date women. Well, my point is, darling, by the way, there are women who date women. That's number one. Number two, if you will date women, you don't know what the other women are doing. You only know what you're doing. Well, I know what other women are doing because I have other friends that are on. No, you know what they tell you they're doing. But this survey, and by the way, I want to tell you about this survey, because since you were not listening or paying no attention, uh, this particular survey is, is by a trusted online, I'm sorry, a trusted journal, Sexuality and Research, I'm sorry, Sexuality Research and Social Policy. It's a well-known and respected scientific journal. Uh-huh. But um, I don't think it's right because, I mean, not just women like to put on the first date. Mostly men do. Oh, no. I'm, I'm, I think all men will put on the first date. Uh -huh. I told, that, that's a given, though. What men do has nothing to do with what we're talking about. Yeah. I the know, thing is that men assume that the women who I, I assumed that the women who do online dating would not put out on the first date because of all the crap they write there about wanting to meet their man of their dreams and their soulmate, and they'd like to walk in the sand hand in hand and all this other nonsense. But a third of those women actually get down on the first date. 27% of them, uh, hey, oh. watch your mouth. We're on the air. I'm, I'm an adult. I can cuss if I want to. No, no, no. No, you can't, darling, and that's where we're going to get off the phone. Uh, because uh, clearly you don't understand that uh, on the radio, which is licensed by the federal government, you're not allowed to curse. I don't care what kind of an adult you are. Couldn't care less. Yeah, have you ever heard of the FCC, you idiot? 
bitch. By the way, she probably does put out on the first date. She's upset that I'm calling her on it. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Kev on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Oh, what's up, Dad? You, you know, uh, I'm the perfect guy you need to come to at the, at the bra like this. Now, hey, Lise, listen up, baby. If you don't put out, there's plenty more. Now, let me tell you, this is this in the last month, Tom, on on online. Now, I kind of got overboard on it. Now, but let me tell you about what happened this weekend. I went, I drove to Gene. I told this chick, I'm not going to go into Vegas and get no high dollar price room. So what I did, I drove to Gene, and you know, you can get a room out there about for 50 bucks on Saturday. She, she lives in Vegas. I drove out there, four hour trip. Soon as we met, boom, Tom, right away, put out right away, right away. Walking back to the room, dropped $40 in a slot machine. One, two grand, boom, one, two grand right away. Now, this is another one. She took a train all the way down from Fresno. This was last weekend. Drove, took a train, Dad, all the way from Fresno. Really? Did it right there. She came to my house, you know, uh, the, the best I ever had right there. You know, not one of the best, but I let her stay the weekend. But I drove her around so fast. She could, she did come stay at my crib, but I drove around so fast. She she even admitted to me. She said, Kev, you drove around so fast, I wouldn't even been able to find my way back to your house. So I said, that's all right, you know. So she kind of know all of them kind of know I got two other ones. Another one, Tom, right away, drove up to her house. Kids in their sleep. She has a nice crib up in the up in the um, up in the Victor area. Nice. Uh, this must be some of them must be hearing me talking. So, but anyway, but I drove up there. Drove up there, kids sleep, everything, get her right in her bedroom. Right right then, first day. Really? Right there. But let me tell you something, Dad. About 90% of most of these chicks on there plan just like a lease. Plan. But you got to kind of like weed them out. You got to kind of like weed them out and go for that 10% that does it right away. I was like the rest of the guys like this. Like, was when, when was you was going to get with it, Dad? Because these chicks are out there. They are out there, and they just. But look, look, guys, you got to make yourself look presentable. It's like I'm in the gym right now. That's why I'm kind of pumped up. On you know, you got to make your body look real nice. So when you're in your clothes, you look real nice and stuff for the ladies. But don't come right away for the booty. Don't come right away because I always ask the chicks, well, what what was it that made you know me stand out? Must say, well, you didn't come right away and ask for. It. You know, you was kind of like cool with it and let them come. And the next thing you know. They asking you. You gotta kind of like sneak it in. Next thing you know, they want to see pictures of your package and all that kind of stuff. I'm not porn star material, but you know, uh, Big Daddy he gets the job. But, uh, <laughs> I love that. <laughs> but uh, next thing you know, they sending you back. Tom is it, is out there to be taken. Now this is one. I'm not gonna say the name over, but if you complete me, and this this other one, this is hot because they let the chicks get on this one free, but the guys gotta pay. But the chicks get to get on free profile. Any city, any uh, city I'm going to, I'm going back east for Thanksgiving. Got a booty waiting for me in the Midwest. I'm, I'm not lying, Dad. I'm not lying. I put this really? on paper. If you want to, Dad, I will give you my code, and you can pull up all the chicks in my profile. I'll give you my code, and you can pull up everything what I'm seeing. I'm not lying. Uh, we are not lying to you, but guys, you gotta go. You gotta weed through the ten percent. You gotta be kind of cool with yourself, fellas. You gotta be kind of cool and just don't come right away with it. You gotta like, you know, you gotta like make the ladies feel comfortable. Let them come out, let you know. Let them sit down comfortable, and then let them. They'll, they'll shoot. You know, they'll shoot some little in the windows to you. But once they shoot that one in the window, I'm like a shark feeding in water. There, big daddy. You know, Me? and I'm all on them. You know, like I said this weekend, Vegas. Um, uh, when I go back, I'm going back east for for the holiday. I got one wait for me, and uh, it's it's, uh, it's it's really true, Dad. Now, if you want to, I'll give you my the the to, to put the put it in proof. I'll give you uh, my code and stuff, and you can pull up everything what these chicks sent to me. But they're out there. The survey, but you got to weed through ten the ninety percent. You got to get to the ten percent. So you got to like weed through them. You, you you'll be able to tell this weed through them, and then you'll get that ten percent. But I, I like I said, I bet you about ninety percent of the chicks are on there playing like Alicia, the one who just called there. Alicia, don't get mad. Just you know, don't hate the game, hate the players. You know, so it's out there, Dad. Love it. 
All right, why don't you take me out Pono style like the big pimp I am, Big Daddy? All and right, Kev. You, Merry Christmas, and uh, maybe we might do another party at the mansion just then, and I'll bring my laptop because I don't go nowhere without my laptop. I got my <laughs> laptop right on my side there. And, there, and all my coworkers are listening. They know it. They'll call in and testify. They'll testify there, Big Dad. <laughs> Sounds good to me, Kev. Here you go. All right, brother. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Online dating. One third of women put out on the first date. Did you know that? I'm recommending it. Cisco on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, what's up, Tom? Yeah, man, I was sitting there talking to you, uh, the man that uh, gave me pick up the phone, and uh, I started off online dating with uh, Yahoo a long time ago. Before they come out with the whole. MySpace and all these new websites, man, it was off the chain years ago. These women been off the chain and ain't been held together since back in the old days when men used to beat on women to keep, keep them under control. Now that they all, all loose and the law is on their side and you can't do nothing about it, man, they loose as I don't know what. For real, I'm a, I'm a Mexican in a black neighborhood, dude, and I get play all day and online it's ridiculous man it's just a, it's a damn thing it almost gets sick that you get so much you know action with like sexual phone calls and all that stuff and yes. i you know like you just starting to talk about it but dude should have been on there all the cats that don't got game and you go on there and get game like crazy because if you ain't got it you will get it because they'll teach you how to talk to them and they'll let you know what they want to hear about and it up up your your sexual conversation if you ain't got none you will get it it's easy, I'm telling you. It's like a lesson. A lot of these dudes don't don't talk to a bunch of women in their daily life. When they go up in there, it's it's like you, you it's like your own class, man. Really? I, I'm serious, man. You go in there and 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 you ain't got like I said, no game. You'll get game because what it is is you go to a club. It's only so many women in that club. But when you go online, you talking about hundreds and hundreds and thousands of women up in there that they all get like. You know, not all women going to like you, but some are. And then once a woman done chose you already, you got your foot in the door. You ain't got to do nothing else. You, all you got to do is sit back and listen. Some of my player partners, I got partners that's like like pimp-type fellas and things. You know, they get some money out from women. But uh, they just say, sit back and just listen. The woman can't keep her mouth closed, and she's going to tell you everything off the back. All she's going to do is run her mouth. And you just sit back and listen. Just pick out all of her little, you know, flaws and all that stuff. Use it against her. And then you, you just you you know like you said um, low self esteem and all that stuff you can find out that self esteem real quick and the more intelligent the woman is and when she start licking her lips and all that stuff when she see you and she you know she already liking you man it's in the bag dude it's man I'm telling you it's like it, it's you should have been preaching about this I don't see how you was talking about this so women get all lovey dovey man that's all facade all that old out the book with, uh, you know, uh, um, a man on a shining horse with armor and all that old stuff. Like, you got to be a prince. That's all. They a fantasy land, dude. They, they, they whole head is in the fantasy land. For real. All right. Got to watch your mouth. We're on the air. Oh, my bad. My bad. Yeah. Well, uh, that's pretty much it, Tom. I just want to let you know I've been listening for a while and stuff. And a lot of stuff that you preach about to these cats, a lot of them need it because some of them don't got direction. And they got weak fathers or something like that. That uh, you help them out a lot because they're gonna make poor choices. And if they if they get you, and they you know if they get you and they you or they, you and they ear, then you help them out a lot further. You know what I'm saying? So, I uh, do indeed, and I, I I thank you for that. And guys, yeah. online dating, I'm recommending it to you. I'm recommending it to you because uh, one third of the women dating online actually put out. Are women pissed about this? Call me now because next hour I'm going to be talking to you. The Tom Likas Show.